Dal is dal, right? How could you improve on this Indian classic? Well, to be honest, you don't need to. My humble tadka dal has never lacked flavor, but the addition of wild garlic gives this Indian staple a new twist. So here's my wild garlic dal recipe. Early spring in the UK sees woodlands carpeted by the fragrant green leaves of wild garlic and its pretty white flowers. And if you like your food local and seasonal like I do, it doesn't get much better than wild garlic that you foraged a short stroll from your house. It doesn't have the pungency of commercially grown garlic bulbs. I love its more subtle flavor and the fact that you can eat the whole plant. Just pull out the stems, leaves and flowers. When in season, it's an abundant crop. So I tend to pick little and often when out on a run or walk without depleting stalks. I'll be making this dal in an instant pot, but you can equally well cook it on a regular stove. I have shared both methods on my blog and I also like to get my ingredients ready ahead of cooking. So start by chopping a couple of shallots, slit a few green chilies, you can de-seed them if you like, slice some garlic, finally chop some ginger to get all of its flavor out and then the star of the show, plenty of wild garlic leaves and stalks. Make sure you wash it thoroughly before chopping. The subtly pungent flavor of wild garlic permeates the dal and perfectly complements the rich spicy lentils. I have taken 100 grams of wild garlic. I'm using it more as a herb than a vegetable to impart a delicate flavor without changing the essence of the dish. Turn the instant pot on in saute mode on high. Add vegetable oil, once hot, crackle a teaspoon of mustard seeds followed by cumin, then throw in chopped shallots, a few curry leaves and stir until the shallots are light brown. Add the ginger with half the sliced garlic and stir again. Once the garlic turns light brown, add half a teaspoon of asafoetida, a teaspoon of turmeric and either red chilli powder or green chilies, or both depending on how spicy you like your dal. I left the green chilies out for additional tarka later. Stir in a couple of chopped tomatoes and wild garlic until fully wilted and par cooked. Wild garlic is fresher, more aromatic and more like onion than garlic but not the same as onion. So it's quite unique and that makes foraging it so worthwhile. Now tip in 200 grams of split red lentils or masoor dal as we call it in Hindi which I washed twice under a running tap and strained. Always add hot water when making dal. Anything between 6 and 700 mils is good depending on how run you like it. You can always adjust the consistency later. And don't forget to add salt to your taste before you secure the lid. Seal the pressure release valve and put the instant pot into pressure cook mode on high for 3 minutes. And once done, release the pressure and check your dal. Give it a good stir. You can tuck in straight away as is. But I really like a finishing tarka, especially when I have some fresh wild garlic buds to hand. And now is the time to adjust the consistency if you'd like your dal a tad runny. Don't worry, it'll still be tasty with the additional tarka. Simply pop the instant pot back on in saute mode and prepare the tarka or tempering in a small ladle or pan. Heat some oil over a low to medium flame. A good tarka starts with a spluttering of mustard and cumin followed by curry leaves and the remaining sliced garlic we kept aside. Gently drop in the slit green chilies for spice and do add wild garlic buds and leaves which I haven't shown here. Duh, silly me. Add some more turmeric if you like. Turn off the flame and immediately pour the tarka over the hot dal simmering gently in the instant pot. And there you have it, your wild garlic dal is ready to get stuck into. I like it with some rice, but you can even guzzle it down like a soup. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new videos here. It doesn't cost anything, but it will help my videos reach more people who might benefit from this recipe. And you know where to find the full recipe, it's on my blog. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.